Hello guys, which we are going to do bounty hacker and let's get started. So this is the website in which we are going to find a bug. So firstly let's start with nmap scan. So sudo nmap dash sv and the IP address which is basic is to nmap and the sv is to find the version number of the open port. So till that time nmap scan is running, we'll just visit the website and we'll try and look at the source code which is you can see by control U. So this is the source code but there is nothing here. You can see that it is extracting this images from uh, images folder. So I can just go and slash images. Yeah that's not something to use to us okay so nmap scan has been done so http port is there ssh port is which requires a username and a password but as of ftp port which is there which is port 21 we can do something so i am try and i'll run a script which is the default script by provided by nmap which is dash sc and dash P I'll for the port number which I'll provide 21 and this IP address and let's press enter Oops. oh I forgot to type in map my bad so now we are running this script on port 21 as we saw in this result these three ports are open so it's running and here it is so you can see the script scan and it says that okay so it is saying that FTP anon anonymous FTP login allowed so it is allowing anonymous to login into FTP. Okay, so let's do FTP and the IP and the name. It's selling that it's allowing anonymous. So I'm putting anonymous as the name, and I get both of these. Okay, so we have finally found two of these files here in FTP. So LCD command is used to check my local working directory. So I'm going to do LCD and I'm going to change my directory to pictures. Okay, so my LCD now is pictures. So whatever I file I get will be stored in this pictures directory. Now I'll just get both of these files. So get log.txt, transfer complete, get task.txt and transfer complete so as a bug hunter as a bounty hacker now we have found two of these files so goodbye and now let's do let's go to pictures and see both of these given pictures so one is this task it says protect wishes plan for red eye on the moon okay and this is written by lin so there is some guy known as lin who wrote this and locks is uh, i think it is just set of passwords or something it's like set of something which you can use to crack okay so lin is the username because this thing was written by lin and this is the set of passwords which we can crack the SSH with. So now let's crack the SSH. You just saw when we did an map scan, SSH port was open. So SSH name was Lin. Okay, before connecting, we need to crack the password. So hydra dash L for username Lin dash capital P for the passwords file downloads and the name the name is 
of the file is not raw cube this time it's actually in the pictures and it's the log the one which we saw this one yeah logs.txt the one containing passwords and then after this you need to specify the service which is ssh and oops i didn't specify okay i didn't specify the ip just a second i forgot to say type the ip over there yeah not to work so just doing brute force it's trying each and every password in that list and this is our password great so we found our username password and let's try and login so ssh lin at the rate dip to last for a password yes you want to connect and the password is the one which we just found and it's verifying if our password was right and yep we are in successfully in so you can just cat this file and you can get the answer for user.txt let's go to the root directory uh, oot and permission deny so you can't go to the root directory and when i'll do sudo su and even after typing in the password it says that you are not allowed to run su as root so now we'll check what should i to run what can i run as a sudo user so i can run tar i can run the tar command as the sudo user and that is the only command which i can run as root so with tar i need to do some kind of privilege escalation so let's just type gf opens gf opens is a like a really great site to search now i'm going to search tar so in tar we need pseudo privileges which is here so i'm just going to copy this and i'm just going to paste it here and yes we are root that's nice so this is a really nice website gf opens for doing that and gfo bins contains like many 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 pseudo privileges and other useful stuff so now let's go to cd root ls and here it is the root.txt file so i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe and see you next time and these are just questions like who wrote the task list that is lin what is the user's password which we just cracked this one and yeah so let's see you next time bye bye